G'day lawnies, how's it going? Well, you've looked at lawn porn, you like what we do, and you've seen lots of lawns with lines in them, and that's usually done with a cylinder mower. So you're looking into it, and it's tickled your fancy, you're thinking about uh, going a cylinder mower. Well, this is a guide to get you started. Get your lawn on. So step one is to search. Typically for your first mower, you probably want to buy a second hand mower, and they range from about $300 to $700. Um, newer ones will cost you anything north of $1,500, so most tend to go for a second-hand model. Step two, I'd consider a Scott Bonner 45. It's a 17-inch reel, and all of the parts are available, and yeah, it's a great mower. There are many other different types of reel mowers, but the uh, issue is parts, and if you can't fix it, it's going to be a problem. Step three is you're going to have to buy local. It really depends how keen you are and how far you want to go, but do realise that you're going to have to take it home yourself because these machines are too heavy to be delivered. Step four is to ask the seller to start it. Basically, you want to know that it starts all right and get them to show you the quirks of the machine and any problems uh, might soon be apparent. Step five is to check the catcher. Most catchers on used machines will have lots of dents and possibly holes. And that's normal for a used mower. However, that is something you might need to fix. And make sure the catcher fits the model of the mower that they are selling you. Step six is to check if the blades are sharp. You'll need some gloves to do this and it should be able to cut a piece of paper if they are. If not, sharpening blades can be quite costly so you can use this as bartering power. So step seven is to ask the seller how to use it. When I first got a cylinder mower, I had no idea how to use it. So get them to show you. If it's theirs, they should be able to. Get them to show you all the quirks of the machine and how to use all the parts and how to operate it. And if possible, get them to do a mow in front of you and maybe even give you a go. Now step eight is to barter the sale cost. Now this is probably the hardest part, especially if you don't know what you're looking at or how to use it properly. Now I know you're keen, but number one is that you don't have to buy this mower, there's going to be other mowers that become available. Now number two is cost, okay, it might be a cheap mower for about $200, $300 thereabouts, but really you've got to think about what you've got to spend on it, and after that point is it really a bargain? I mean think about it, sharpening blades could cost you about $150, and if you don't know how to take the blades out, you've got to get someone to do that for you, and that could be a labor cost of about $100. Servicing of the engine could cost you about anything from $100 to $300. Hell, you might have to get a replacement motor and that's about $300 as well. Plus the labor of putting that mower in. And the list goes on. I mean, the catcher, for example, you might have to fix that or replace it. So really, your purchase, go with your gut. If it just looks like it's gonna to cost too much money, you might just wanna leave it and see if something else is available in the future. So let's assume that you've bought the mower and you've taken it home. Step nine is to mow high for your first mow to get used to it. And then step 10 is to practice, practice, practice. So I hope I've given you a good guide to buying your first cylinder mower. Realize they're a lot of fun, but they can be quite costly. So I'll leave it at that. Get your lawn on.